Hey everyone, this is Mike with On Point Preparedness. I haven't done a prepper video for you guys in a while, so this one's going to be a good one. And it's on a subject that I'm highly passionate about. The screenshot you're looking at is from my Prepping 101 video, where I break out the major categories of preparation. We're going to focus in on communications because it's one of the most highly overlooked areas and preppers don't really consider it. Actually, in fact, in my own preparation journey, it was one of the things that I prepared for last. That is, up until I got caught in a situation where I really did need off-grid or alternative communications and had none. So after that little predicament, I submersed myself in a whole variety of off-grid communication devices and spent a lot of time studying through all the different materials. And I'm here to present to you some of the pros and cons of what I have found with regards to local communications between about half a mile to five miles in range. Now, off-grid communications can be regional or even global, but we'll set those aside for a different video. So I'm gonna show you a couple different devices and specifically I'm gonna talk about this device called Gotenna. The folks at Gotenna had allowed me to test out one of these devices and was very appreciative of it because it has perfectly rounded out my off-grid communications and I'm so glad that I've got a set of these. I'm gonna talk a little bit more about that later on in this video. So one of the things we need to change when we think about off-grid communications is only limiting it to that SHTF event where we need to contact friends or family from afar or once we've successfully relayed with our bug out team that we're using it for tactical communications. Rather, the most prevalent use of off-grid communications will be in your everyday life. Therefore, you need some type of off-grid communication tool in your everyday carry kit. Here's just some brief examples. So if you're in a concert or some other area where there's a lot of people packed into a small area, those cell phone towers get easily overloaded and so it renders your cell phone useless if there's a lot of high volume so you need some type of off-grid tool to communicate with friends or family in the immediate vicinity if you're a cyclist or motorcyclist and you typically go way out there in a the country and there's not a whole lot of cell phone reception if you want to stay in contact with your team because you get separated again you need some type of off-grid communication and this example is pretty funny um, typically family members will go into an area as a family so a mall or amusement park but then they'll split up while they're there so anyone that has a girlfriend or a wife knows when you go to the mall and you really don't want to be following them around while they do hours on end of shopping. You say, hey, honey, I'm, I'm actually going to this store over here. When you're split up, what if something like this happens? You know, where there's these flash mob riots or a shooting or some other emergency that happens in the mall. Again, what's everyone going to do? Go straight to their cell phones, overload those cell towers, and then you can't figure out where your significant others are. So what options do we have? Well, here's three of them, and I've used them all. You have the out-of-the-box walkie-talkie, which retails anywhere from $40 to $80 per pair. You have the handheld ham radio for amateur radio operation. Those retail anywhere from $40 to $400 per unit. And then the Gotenna at $100 per unit. With regards to simplex communication, that is a handheld device communicating with another handheld device held four to five feet up off the ground, you'll get about the same range, half a mile to four miles with each of them. However, the handheld ham radio is in a class unto itself because they can utilize what's called repeater towers. And these repeaters act much like cell phone towers and they literally just repeat the handheld signal and broadcast it over a much broader distance. So you can easily contact people 20, 30, 40, 50 miles away. So I really encourage you all to get your ham radio licenses and get a ham held radio because you need that for citywide or township wide communication. The ham radios, you can see they can transmit five or eight watts, go 10 at two watts and the family radio service walkie talkies at half a watt. And here's where the Gotenna really starts to shine. I'm gonna show you a video right now. It is the easiest thing to operate. Um, the ham radios are not difficult, but you do need to take a quiz of 35 multiple choice questions. It comes out of a pool of 300 questions. A lot of people are adverse to either registering their credentials with the FCC or studying for that test. So it is sort of moderate difficulty to get. And walkie talkies are, they're easy, but again, there's a lot of features and buttons you need to work your way through. But let's take a look at this video for Gotenna. So here's just a short video of me recording the setup of the unit after you download the app, and it is just ridiculously simple. 
Guys, I set this thing up on my phone in less than 30 seconds, had no issues. I've set it up on iPhones, I've set it up on three different Androids, no problems whatsoever. I mean, it just can't get any easier than this. I mean, the engineers really did an excellent job on setting this up. You can see here, you can use your actual name or an alias. You can also use your real phone number, or you can type in your own unique Gotenna identification number if you don't want your actual phone number being used. So that's obviously a plus from a secrecy standpoint. So the other big win for the Gotenna is its size. And let's focus on the really, really here, folks. If you're not gonna carry your alternative communication device with you at all times, well, you might as well not even carry it at all because you're just risking and chancing the fact that you might not have it if and when an emergency strikes. So here's my situation. I was a ham radio operator and I would have loved for my significant other to also be a ham radio operator, but I know my wife would never get her ham radio license. Hell would freeze over before that would happen. So I thought, hey, let me get some out of the box walkie talkies because you don't need to be licensed for that and maybe she can carry one and I can carry one whenever we go out. Well, again, there is no way my wife is going to fit that big bulky thing in her already full purse. Again, hell is going to freeze over before she does that. And me personally, I really don't want one of these walkie talkies hanging off my belt anytime I step out the door. So with the Gotenna, it's sleek, it's modern, it's easily concealable. I mean, I really do believe that I can carry this with me at all times, which is the pure definition of an everyday carry kit. So moving on into the next category, text messaging and voice, Gotenna can only do text messages. It cannot do voice. Now, I was originally opposed to this because I thought, well, in an emergency, it'd be nice to have the freedom and fluidity of using your voice. However, I thought about it some more, and in any type of emergency situation, it's probably going to be accompanied by lots of loud noises. So screams, gunshots, bombs all these different prepper scenarios that we consider, and you may not be able to hear anyone at all. So actually text messaging is actually a pretty good option. Now next, and this is huge for preppers, mapping and GPS. Let's just take a look at these videos here. Again, you can download all states within North America as well as, as, well as many points around the world for free. And these are very small file sizes, so you can easily fit them on your smartphone. They have as much detail as Google Maps. Now again, this serves an everyday carry purpose. So again, if you're using your GPS and your signal gets lost, you can just pick up your Gotenna app and look inside of it and just use the maps there to find your way back home. Or if you're with a proper community, you've actually bugged out, and let's just say you're doing recon, you can actually pinpoint a location on the map and send that back to your base command saying, hey, there's there's some suspicious activity over here or over there. And by the way, th what adds to that is this is a fully encrypted signal. Now, anyone that's an amateur radio operator knows that you cannot encrypt signals on ham radio. And for your out-of-the-box walkie-talkies with only having about 40 channels, everything you say on there is public knowledge. And again, preppers wanting to practice OPSEC, wanting to practice PERSEC, that is your personal security, you don't want to put everything out there, Gotenna is an awesome way to communicate with your team and have it fully encrypted. Again, not too many people are going to have this device either or even know how to crack the encryption, so it's very unlikely that anyone would know what you're talking about. Now the last feature is water resistance. The Gotenna is water resistant, has O-ring seals around it. Walkie talkies, some of them are water resistant, some of them aren't. Ham radios, your cheap ones like Beofangs will not be water resistant and the only way you'll get that feature is if you get into more expensive models that are in the two or $300 range. And again, you need water resistance if you wanna be in those adverse weather conditions. But anyways, I hope you guys appreciated this honest review. Again, Gotenna really rounded out my preps nicely. The biggest one is that I know my family's not going to carry around big bulky walkie-talkies, but they will 
carry these small, sleek, thin units with them, and it'll be part of their everyday carry kits. I can trust them that they will have those on them at all times. The other big things is I love how it can have an encrypted signal, especially if you rendezvous with your bug out team, with your prepper team, and you want to have secretive communications. The use of maps and pinpoints, again, for recon operations, that's another huge plus for the prepper community. And the fact that its efficacy in terms of range is about just as good as walkie-talkies or ham radios from a simplex perspective. So I think the only thing that people might not like about the Gotenna is it's $100 a pop for each of these units. But again, as I said in the beginning of this video, you really have to stress the importance of communication in both your everyday carry situations as well as that potential SHTF moment that we know is just on the horizon. It's a matter of when, not if. So this is Mike with On Point Preparedness. Hope you guys like this and feel free to ask any questions in the comment section. I'll see you guys later.